Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss about the important algorithm under greedy technique to solve the minimum spanning green problem that is Prim's algorithm. In Prim's algorithm, n points will be given. The algorithm needs to connect these n points in the cheapest way possible so that there will be a path between every pair of points. So here points is nothing but the vertices in the given graph. So for example, consider this graph and the vertices are A, B, C, D and E. The logic of Prim's algorithm is need to connect these vertices in the given graph so that there will be a path between each and every pair of vertices and need to connect them in the cheapest way possible. So cheapest way is nothing but if the edges are assigned with weights means need to connect these vertices with the minimum cost. So this is the logic of Prim's algorithm. The main applications of Prim's algorithm includes all kind of networks. For example, LAN network, TV network, landline cable network, the networks to provide drinking water, etc. Next, to implement the cluster analysis in data mining, traveling salesman problem, the salesman have to start from the source city and need to visit all other destination cities with the cheapest cost. Next, artificial intelligence to implement the path finding and game development. These are all the important applications of Prim's algorithm. But there are vast applications of Prim's algorithm wherever we need to establish a path or to establish a connection in a cheapest way. Next, Prim's algorithm design. That is the steps to implement Prim's algorithm. Initially, the Prim's algorithm will start with the subtree with a single vertex. So, among the given vertex, one vertex will be selected and that will be added to the subtree. And normally, this single vertex will be the source vertex or the starting vertex. On each iteration, the algorithm will select the nearest vertex with the smallest weight and that will be added to the subtree in a greedy manner. For example, the nearest vertex from A to B is 3 and A to C is 2 means the algorithm will choose this edge that is A to C and that will be added to the subgraph. And this procedure continues until all the vertices in the given graph should be added to the subtree but the main condition here is it should not form a cycle. The total number of iterations required to implement Prim's algorithm depends upon the number of vertices in the given graph. So the total iterations is B minus 1. In the given graph if there are 5 vertices means 5 minus 1 so total iteration will be 4. With four iterations, the Prim's algorithm will find a path to each and every vertices in the given graph. So these are all the steps to implement Prim's algorithm. Next, we will trace the Prim's algorithm to construct a minimum spanning tree with one example. So this Prim's algorithm is used for constructing the minimum spanning tree. And here the input is nothing but a weighted connected graph G with the vertices and the edges. And output is nothing but E of T, that is the set of edges composing a minimum spanning tree. So, for example, consider this graph. And initially, Vt is nothing but we are including the starting vertex. So, here V0 is nothing but the starting vertex. And here in this graph, the starting vertex is A. Initially, we are including A to the vertex set. And for I equal to 1 to V minus 1, we need to implement these steps. Find a minimum weight edge. That is E is equal to V comma U. So here U is nothing but it is representing the weight. That is we need to find the minimum weight edge among the all the available edges. Such that V is in V of T and U is in V minus V of T. So that we have to include that vertex and also we have to include that weight also. So initially if you are considering the starting vertex here is A. So from A there are three edges and the smallest weight edge is nothing but A to B with the weight 1. So we need to include the vertex A comma B with the weight 1. 
So now we are going to include that vertex and its weight to the vertex set and also edges to the edge set. Again, the procedure continues. So now we have selected the next vertex B. So from B, we need to identify the next possible smallest weight edge to connect to the other vertices C and D. And from B, if you are considering, there is no other connection to establish to C and D. So again, the algorithm will consider the vertex A only. From A, if you are considering, there are two vertices. And among these two vertices, which is having the smallest weight, that algorithm will choose. So the algorithm will choose A comma D with the weight 2. Now, the vertex D will also include in the vertex set and its weight is 2. And this edge will also be included in the edge set. So from D, if you are considering, we need to establish a connection to C. So either we can consider from A to C or D to C. So if you are considering D to C is the edge with the smallest weight. So the algorithm will include the edge D to C and its weight is 2. And this procedure continues until all the vertices should be connected with the smallest possible weights. And once the algorithm completes its procedure, finally it will return the edge set with all the vertices connected and the total weight should be minimum. So this is nothing but the minimum spanning tree problem implemented with the Prince algorithm. Thank you for watching this video.